Hi everyone, it's Shirley, and I'm so excited that it's Pride Month. This is my first full Pride Month after realizing I'm a lesbian, and I'm so glad to be a part of the LGBTQ community. For today's video, I wanted to talk about some of the very gay things I did as a kid, because even though I've always been gay, growing up I was so convinced I was straight that I missed out on a lot of very obvious signs that I wasn't. At all. The speed paint here is a Pride Month sticker I'm designing for this year. Last year, I designed this sticker for Pride Month, so I wanted to continue the tradition and make another design this year. It'll be on my Redbubble page in multiple flag designs, so check out the link in the description if you want to get an acrylic block or something with a design on it. I realize some of the people watching this video know me in person, and this might be how they find out I'm gay, so... Hello! You probably saw this coming way before I did, though, let's be honest. Alright. Now for the very obvious signs growing up that I was gay. If you enjoy this video, I might make a part two since I have many more things I wanted to talk about but couldn't fit into this video. Insert a disclaimer here. Do, 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 do. Here we go. One, in early high school, I was very proud of myself for being not like other girls because I was completely immune to the charms of conventionally attractive guys. You know, the athletic jock type who's the love interest in every Disney Channel original. I literally used to pride myself on not being attracted to these guys, which, yes, that was pretty toxic of me, but also, that was pretty gay, not gonna lie. To be honest, I'm glad I left behind my I'm not like other girls mentality and I'm now living the I like other girls mentality, but yeah. Two, there were many times I had gay panic, like one time I was helping a friend out with something and afterwards she asked me if I wanted to get a coffee with her, just the two of us. And I kind of just froze, like my brain stopped working. After a moment, I remembered to awkwardly say yes, and was very excited to go out as friends. But yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> Gay panic. <laughs> Three, I kind of assumed that everyone just objectively knew women are super pretty. Like, duh, it's an obvious, undebatable fact. They're so pretty, it hurts, to quote our gal in red. Four, I was an extremely supportive ally, which cishet people can be too, of course. I love you all. But for me, it was a little suspicious because I was extremely passionate about my high school's Queer Straight Alliance Club, to the point where I ran for a leadership position as an openly straight person and was super bummed out when I didn't get it. Which, if I was a true straight ally, I don't think I should have felt like I needed a leadership position to be a member of a safe space meant for queer people. I remember being super insecure about being a straight member of the club, even though straight people were totally welcome, it's literally in the name. I'd also get really self-conscious whenever a family member asked if I had a meeting that day. I'd always make it super clear that I'm just there to be an ally, nothing more. Just surely the super supportive ally. Not gay at all, just straight ally. Emphasis on the straight. And the ally. But mostly straight. <laughs> 5. My middle school's partner dancing unit. I might make a separate video about this because I have a whole rant about it, but to say the least, I was disproportionately uncomfortable compared to everyone else at the idea of having to partner dance with boys, to the point where the entire month I'd be constantly complaining about it while my friends didn't care that much about the unit, because it was just dancing with guys, no big deal. As a rebellious thing, I actually learned the guys part to all the partner dances so I could practice with my female friends, and to this day, I only know how to dance the guy part. But hey, if you ever swing dance with me, we'll be the coolest dancers on the dance floor. We can do the twirl, pretzel, and a variety of other swing dance moves. I even platonically entered a swing dance contest with a gal pal of mine, and we won, so I guess that makes me an award-winning dancer. 6. I was more interested in the idea of having a boyfriend than actually being in a relationship with one. For example, I liked the idea of being able to go out at night together, have someone to kill all the spiders, and a whole closet of the comfiest oversized hoodies to steal from. But that's literally it. Those are the only things I looked forward to about having a boyfriend. And the thing is, my friends, that's not a boyfriend. That's a babysitter. Turns out, if I want comfy, oversized clothes, I can just steal from my dad's closet or buy from the men's section. That way, I can get the comfy clothes, boyfriend not included. 7. In high school, I redrew this picture of Sabrina Carpenter kissing Rowan Blanchard because I was like, aw, they're so cute, what great friends. But then I got super nervous about people going through my sketchbook and getting the wrong idea, so I quickly made sure to write a disclaimer right next to the drawing that this was not a romantic kiss, but a friend kiss. Because you know how it is, kissing the homies. 8. 
My favorite school dance has always been the Pride Month dance my high school does. It was the first dance I was willing to go to and I really enjoyed it. If your high school doesn't do Pride Month events, I highly recommend trying to organize one. For my school, we all arrived wearing white t-shirts, got to splatter paint on ourselves, and danced to queer music. It was so fun and helps show students that they're accepted by their peers, even for people like me who didn't realize until after high school. It was much easier for me to come out to my high school friends when I knew that they would all support me for who I am. 9. And now, for the sign that was actually the main reason I accepted I'm a lesbian. I could never imagine myself kissing a guy on purpose. Wow, saying it like that makes it seem so obvious. I would always think about hetero relationships in terms of letting a guy kiss me, what I would tolerate and not what I wanted. The way I thought about straight relationships was very uneven, where the guy would put all the work into the relationship and I would just accept it? And that's not how healthy relationships work. It was so one-sided, I couldn't even get myself to fall in love with, like, this imaginary boyfriend I had conjured up. So that was the main thing that made me realize I was gay. In contrast, I can very easily imagine myself in a healthy relationship with a girl where we both care about each other and bring out the best in each other. Which, you know, seems a little gay to me. Just a little bit. For me personally, it took a while to accept that this is who I am, but that sign was the biggest thing that helped me realize. And whenever I doubt myself, I always had that to fall back to. Alright, those are all the signs I wanted to talk about today. Feel free to comment below about things you didn't notice until after realizing you were queer. I would love to hear about your experiences. For me, I didn't realize until I was 18, even though I've like always had signs. Also, while I did talk your ear off, that was barely half of my list of obvious signs I was gay because there were a lot of signs that I dismissed as normal straight girl behavior. If you want a part two, let me know in the comments below and I'll gladly deliver. Happy Pride Month, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!